Hey, Woodcutters, Topsaw here. Today I was gonna go over a Universal Laser DLS 3.60. It's a fantastic tool, absolute favorite tool in the wood shop. Today I'm gonna go over how it works, getting started with it, and what you can do with it. Okay, what can you do with a universal laser? There's an unlimited number of options. We primarily use it in the wood shop for two basic operations, cut throughs. So you could actually cut things out like in this river map where you cut all the way through the wood. We go up to about a quarter inch thick wood on a 3.60. Then the second thing you could do with it is engrave with it. So you could write in letters or words. Here's a set of wooden earrings we made cut out uh, cut the hole out. Here's a set of acrylic earrings we've made in here as well. There's a little pendant cut out on it. So again, there's two basic operations. One's engraving, and then the second is a cut through, and you set your line weight and color to determine whether it's going to be an engrave or a cut through. So before you get started, the most important thing on the laser engraver, the most important thing on any tool is safety. Safety is number one. Uh, it's a laser, so it's actually cutting and burning material. So you gotta be very conscientious of materials that you're allowed to, to work with. A lot of them put off toxic gases. The other thing that's really important is that the vac is on always. The smoke will build up on the lenses and remove it. So make sure you have the vac on. It is uh, burning through. So fire is a big issue. Make sure you know where the fire extinguishers are, the fire alarms are, and to start with, you turn off the vac and have a water bottle ready to spritz any little hot embers before you would go to a fire extinguisher. So fire is a big issue, safety is a big issue. Always keep that in mind. This PC right here uh, is not internet connected, so if you have any graphics, you have to put them on a flash drive and open up on here. We only have two softwares running on here. This UCP is a driver for the VLS 3.60, so I'm gonna open that up. And then I have Corel Draw um, right here, so I'm gonna open both of those up. This turns the driver on in the top right-hand corner. I'm gonna just turn it on, minimize it, and then I'm gonna open up Corel Draw. So you could hear it warming up, and then Corel Draw is opening up right here. All right, let's go into the classroom. I'll put the camera over my shoulder. Okay, this is Corel Draw 2019. 2020 is pretty similar. 2018 is pretty similar. If you're going to go back in versions, make sure you save it as an older version. I always start in the same place. I'm going to go File, New. And this is really important right here. I select RGB. That stands for red, green, blue. It is a color palette. Um, that you're going to use, but it is the only one that'll program the universal laser. So if you don't set RGB, nothing's going to work. Next thing I do is I always make this width the size of the bed of the laser. So I'm 24 wide by 12 high, but you can make it whatever you want. But I would make it the same as the, the laser engraver itself. So I hit OK. Let's start with just putting your name, engraving that into a board, whether it's your cutting board, probably want to engrave on a lighter wood like maple or ash or something you could see. Here are my tools here. This is my text tool. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to just create a text box and I'll set the dimensions for it because I know I'll only have say seven inches by one inch to en engrave my name on. So that'll set the dimensions in my text box and I'll stay within that. I'll type in there top saw or have a wonderful day. After I type it in, I'm going to go back and highlight it. Once it's highlighted, I'll go down and set the font. So 48 will fit in there. I'm using the roller button on my mouse to scroll in, and then I'm holding it down to move around. So that makes it a little bit bigger. Let's say I want to center it right here. It's center, so it's centered in the text box. And while it's highlighted, I could change the font and I could make it Algerian, or I could make it whichever font I want to use. And that's really it for engraving. All I need to do now is I go File, Print, and then the printer is going to be the VLS 
3.60. It's a default in there um, in my shop, but then you select the printer and then you hit print on here. That is not going to engrave it or print it. All that does is send it, uh, exports it to the driver. I'm going to just create some geometry. So I'm going to click on a circle. I'm going to draw that circle. Uh, and let's say I want, let's say I want it to be an ellipse. I want it to be five inches by three inches. So there's the ellipse. I want this thing to be a cutout. So to make it a cutout, I come over here and I set it to RGB and it has to be not kind of red, but exactly 255, zero, zero red. So that sets my line color. And then in addition to my line color, I also have to set my line weight to hairline. So the way the computer reads the programming of a cutout is both by the color and the line weight. It has to be a hairline. You can't select a red off a palette chart. It has to be 255.00, and that's how it reads it as a cutout. So let's say that I like that ellipse. Actually, let's say I want a little hole here to make it a pendant. I'm actually going to click on this with the left mouse button drag it over to the side and then right click and that's going to copy and paste it. And let's say I want this little ellipse to be a half inch by a half inch. And then I'm going to drag it back and put it right there and that'll be the hole, another hole through it. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to this tool right here. This is my pick tool that'll allow me to move stuff around. So I'm going to hit the pick. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag it down here. Again, the red hairline is a cutout. It has to be RGB. You can check it down here. And then the black is going to be an engrave. So that's how I create both cutouts and engraves. Let's go out in the shop and then take it from there. So here's my Corel Draw file. Again, the red is a hairline. So I see this hairline up here and it's 255.00, and I'm in the RGB color scheme down here. The black is an engrave, this all looks good. I go up here to File, Print, uh, VLS 3.60. That is the printer, the universal laser I have, I hit Print. Again, that, that's not gonna print it, all that does is send it to the driver. So I'm all done in Corel, I minimize that screen, and I open up the UCP. This is a driver software for Corel Draw on the Universal Laser. I click on it and then there's my artwork. If I want to relocate the view, I'm going to hit this button right here, relocate. I could hit the center square on there and then digitally set that. So let's say I want to put it on this board and I want the center over five inches and two inches up and that'll put it right there. Uh, I can select this corner and then, you know, if I want that corner, if I know where the corner of that artwork should be on my part, I could set that here. Here is the most important part in the whole thing. So you have to go to settings. I'm going to use this plywood right here. General hardwoods, I could select the actual wood. You have to select the material. And then here it is, material thickness. This is the most important part. You got to be accurate to about five thousandths of an inch. I'm going to use a dial caliper. Check that thickness. It's a 0.197. So I'm going to take that 0.197 and put it in there. So material thickness and the type of material are the most important. I hit OK. Absolutely positively make sure you have the vacuum on. And then now I'm going to take my board and I'm going to put it in here. There's my board and the laser cutter. It's in the upper left-hand corner. That's a black ruler we saw on the driver. The other black ruler, so you can see it there. I'm gonna close this very gently. Turn the vac on. Make sure we have good exhaust. And I'm gonna hit play. I set my settings, my thickness, my vac's on. Now I hit play. Here it is right here. 
All right, there's my part right there. It just pops right out. I have all my settings correct. There's a cutout for the hole and then the ingrays. Most importantly, safety has to come first. There's a fire hazard with a laser. Be really conscientious of that. Best way to prevent that is use the right materials, set the right thickness, have the vac on the whole time it's running. Never leave the laser engraver unattended. You need to be there the whole time uh, in case something happens. So you could do both cuts and engraves with the universal laser. This is a VLF 3.60. This is Jonathan at Topsaw. All things wood from tree work to woodwork. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit like. And if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. I'd really love to hear your comments below on how you use your laser cutter, laser engraver in the wood shop. Uh, and I thank you for watching.